All right, y'all, back at you. So we're uh, we're out here kind of poking around the garden, and we started to notice that like uh, we have a lot of bananas, mm -hmm. a lot of uh, banana. I mean, we have we collect bananas. We have like. I don't know what, maybe 30, 20, 25, 30, 30? I think we have 30 different I think we're at 25, I don't know. But anyways, we're gonna count them all yeah, we connect banana, we collect bananas. Um, we're not gonna count them all right now. I'm just okay. gonna show them all the ones that are fruiting. Um, we have we have some other varieties up here in the front yard, uh, but uh, there's not much to look at. We just planted them. But we noticed that we have a lot that are fruiting. So let's go around and show everybody the ones that are fruiting, all the right. different varieties. I think. Let's start. Our Orinoco we got fruit off of a month ago and chopped that down, so that's a... Yeah, let's go this way and go around and work our way back to this spot. Sounds good. So yeah, this is a dwarf Orinoco. Um, we just got uh, a rack off of it um, and uh, chop and drop the rest. I would say that those were definitely like a plantain kind of taste to them. Even when they were green, they had... I mean, they even, real when, mild even when they were flavor. yellow, they had somewhat of still a plantain -y a slight plant plantainy taste yeah they too. weren't super sweet um yeah. i cooked some of them they were good yeah, um our neighbors cooked yeah some. i mean i liked them and liked it's them. a this is a great sturdy it's a pretty uh sturdy plant it's a pretty it's got a pretty chunky um stalk and then it doesn't get very tall either so for our w the winds that we get here um on the island in florida uh yeah. central florida and the bananas lasted a long time and they did when they we, were a yeah. long lasting banana for they sure were. compared to other ones they were so, so that was a good quality for sure all right so then we have this one right here this um uh is a variety we we don't know the variety this was here um when we bought the property a couple years ago we had these planted on another uh, part of the property and we've moved several of them around um but we got a big nice rack on these and these um are pretty good yeah I mean, they're not my favorite but they're a good medium size uh, to store bought size banana i guess and um they, they're pretty flavorful we eat these green and um we eat them as plantain kind of as green like a green plantain or yeah. uh ripe so yeah i think that they're the best green though with the yeah. they taste just like a potato yeah. this one does they yeah, probably so. all do at a certain stage of greenness we've got that some. one we've done more than others we got an exciting one in the backyard uh that i've been waiting on for a while so. Can you close this so Rose doesn't get out? We we let our dog run around in here and we always forget to close the gates and then we'll like, we'll look down there and she's just running wild down there after something, who knows what. She's she's a funny dog, but um, we got a couple varieties here. We planted these, I don't know, four, three months ago, so. Um, yeah, this is the rhino horn, this is the uh, apple banana. Okay. And then this is the um, dwarf namwa. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, we'll probably, this one's probably close to fruiting, but it's, but we don't have a flag leaf yet. Yeah, that's but the sweetheart. Yeah. And then we, the lacatan. Um, yeah. Not really. Yeah, this these one are. This gets kind of hit by the wind. Yeah, bit. it does. It's crazy. The two behind it don't seem to get. Uh, aren't they? For some reason or another, are more protected. I guess it's from our pool screen or something. But um, mm -hmm. this one just get pummeled by the wind. So. All right, but the, we got one. Actually, we have two over here that have fruit on them. So the uh, the banana we just showed you um, over back over there that had a nice uh, rack on it. This is the same kind. This is actually where they were when we bought the property, and we've spread them out around because uh, they're just a big grand plant, big really grand big tropical plant. Leaves. Yeah. yeah. So, so but there's another nice uh, rack of bananas up there, and then this one I'm really excited about over here. This is our uh, dwarf Brazilian. Yep. Yeah, so this one just flowered two weeks ago, maybe, and putting out the fruit for us. We are excited. I have personally never tried that variety, so I'm excited to try it. Yeah, um, it looks like we're gonna get two more. Yeah. In there. Yeah. Hopefully. All right. Cool. And then here, guys, you can see here's more of this uh, this uh, no name variety. I, I'm kind of growing them. I'm gonna grow them along this fence to add to our privacy hedge here. Um, I, well, they'll grow taller quicker than these. Yeah, than these arecas. They'll these be, bananas will get twice as tall as yeah. these in a year. Yeah. I come they're back. happy plants. Yeah, they they're are. Happy. They are happy plants. So I guess coming up here is what prompted me to do this video. Our son noticed this flower this morning, and um, 
and I didn't even notice it yet. So um, here we have a new, uh, this is a Mysore. Yep. That's a Mysore. Um, we've got the flower right there. I didn't even notice. You can see they, they, uh, they droop. They start the whole plant, not all Shit. the time, but a lot of times kind of starts to droop or change. Um, you know, some, you know, when they're, when they're growing, when they're little, they're kind of growing upright and straight, but we've noticed a lot of times they start to kind of droop when they're about to put off, um, put off a flower. I, I don't know. I don't want to say droop, but lean a little bit. I think that's another like, um, um reason to split them up too, because when you have five of them clumped together yeah, like those, yeah, we, then one of them is fine, but all the other ones coming out like that, they grow out like that before the flower heads come. Hey guys, then, we're, 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 big, we're big fans of, of thinning out your banana plants. Don't, don't, we don't like to have- Even this is too much. Yeah, we don't like to have 15 plants popping out of the same um, comb or whatever you call it. But, uh, you know, I don't know, there's people out there that disagree, but that's just how we do it. So, you know, whatever. So here's a, we have a almost mature rack of mysore bananas right here yeah they're kind of rounding out you know a lot of times guys i just cut the flower off when it's obvious that we're not going to get any more bananas uh, you know like i'll show you this one like that one over there but uh we haven't really had a lot of storms or high winds this year and um i've just kind of been leaving them so that's like, why that's honestly the biggest reason why i take them off is you know, like well, this one. Like, they make a mess. Yeah, they make it look. They make a mess. A big sticky mess right where we're walking. And this, you know, it's a couple pounds here um, of un. You know, we're not going to get any more fruit off of this. That's going to ripen. This is it. So uh -huh. I mean, like you know, if we were having a windy year, I might take these off, but we're not this year. So um, yeah. So here's some. This is our. This is our almost ripe mysore rack and then we have an exciting one up here mm -hmm. this one's almost ready yeah this is the uh praying hands. They've it, been on here for a while. yeah the praying hands um they have been on here for a while i think uh we might actually take these down soon they're not quite we could probably let them go a little bit longer but this plant is really starting to droop into our walkway and the whole plant itself is in decline and it's right by the front door here um and those bananas are big enough that they'll ripen on our counter, so um, we might take this down soon. Um, uh, that's going to be so interesting to try those. Yeah. It's going to be like square bananas. Here's actually, while we're on the, uh, while we're on the praying hands, I'll show you a, a, a slightly uh, less mature rack right there. Um, but, uh, and again, we're done. You're not going to get any more um, female flowers or fruits out of that flower. Um, you could cut the flower if you want to. There's a whole debate about whether you should or not, but anyways. Um, we already showed this one. Yeah, this is. Sticky mess, so here's our ice cream banana. Yeah, and I love wrap. these. These are one of my favorites that we have. We've This is a reliable producer for us. Uh, it's done great in this spot. We've gotten several racks off this spot. We always chop and drop and leave everything, um, you know, when it's done, when we get the fruit off of it. But um, I just love these, and they put off a nice size rack a nice number of bananas for our family um nice size bananas they're, so, they're really good overall i like them they're one of my favorites yeah. i gotta say so yeah they go quick i like the little bananas. these are mona lisa's these are good we actually just got some of these um about a month ago made them all um yep they were delicious they yeah. were great they were very similar to the yeah. ice cream this is a dwarf double mahoney this is a um yeah dwarf double mahoney um, we moved this one was back here but it's kind of getting shaded out by some other stuff we had growing at the time. And it, I mean, this, this, this banana is almost a year and a half old. It needed some sun. So we moved it out about a month ago and it seems to be doing good. So, and then right here, we got our, um, Dwarf Cavendish. Dwarf Cavendish. So this is like the one you would get at your Home Depot or Lowe's usually, right? Yep. Um, and we got, the, we had these that we got lots of fruit on in our last house. Yeah. These are delicious. It's, it's a great, it's a great, it's a great, it's a great one. Great yeah. One. Just cause the Home Depot has, it doesn't mean it's not, it's the worst one out there no. or whatever. It's a great one. Again, nice size, great nice size too. plant. Um, you know, some, some of them might get a little taller, but this is about as big as they get. Um, just, uh, I, it's a great, I guess that's probably why they sell them at the big box stores. Cause it's mm -hmm. an all around good, you know, variety. Of and these low ones, you don't have to prop them up as much. Yeah. They don't get affected by the wind as much. And they're, so they're a reliable they're, producer. Look, we'll end yep. right here because we just noticed this when we started the video that this one has a flower that it just put out. So you can see the flag leaf right here. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with it, the flag leaf is a, it's the last leaf the plant puts out 
before it shoots out its flower and it's it's significantly smaller usually half the size or, or less of these um of their you know normal leaves so when you get that flag leaf you know you're about to get your bananas yep and hmm. both of them started leaning as well yep they did you can see them there we go all right y'all well I hope you enjoyed the, the tour here. If you have any questions or comments about any of these varieties, uh, just let us know in the comments down below. Until next time, everybody out there, take care. Bye.